Hello everyone, Base Scholar here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. So on to round four then of this manufacturer series against Rory and Adventure Racing. You can see they're sitting in sixth and seventh at the moment for Ford, whilst I am sitting in second place, just 12 points behind the leader. So I am a very, very good position right now. Uh, as I keep, if I keep performing the way I am, then we should have absolutely no trouble with this series and we should be finishing in first place against the other YouTubers. So the only thing that's really going to stand in my way this time is the track because it is well if you <laughs> took part in this manufacturer race on Wednesday you'll know exactly what I mean absolutely without a doubt <laughs> one of the best and worst track combinations you can ever have in this game I can't emphasize to you how my emotions were during this set of races I did this race three times and let me tell you Everything that could have happened, happened. So sit back, relax, because in this video, literally, <laughs> there's not one thing that doesn't happen. So qualifying then, absolutely vital. Okay, it's absolutely vital that you get the slipstream. So I got behind three drivers here, but they all decided to go in the pits, right? So I was like, right, well, I've got to go in the pits then, because I've got to stay on the back of someone. Um, but I don't know what really happened here, because I was kind of slowing down, waiting for someone to get in front of me, and I slowed down too much. And I completely lost the slipstream of everyone. So look, there's just no one here. So, <laughs> just absolute disaster. So I'm going to do my qualifying lap. And I've got to be frank with you. It's not going to be any good. Because I just didn't get anyone to slipstream behind. So we finished the lap. We do a 43.1. Uh, which is no good. Which is about two, three attempts off my personal best. Even in practice without, without that. So, disaster really absolutely disaster so we try and go again now we've got behind p9 here looking for the slipstream now the guy in front of him gets a penalty and that kind of holds the guy up in p9 so the guy in p9 is slowed up anyway so you're going to see the guy in p10 just back out of it now um and for some reason i believe as well you can see p9 i'm really catching up with this guy um and i think he's going to duck as well so just keep an eye on it uh we get the slipstream he goes wide here and yeah <laughs> i couldn't believe it just could not believe it. And this guy goes up the inside of me. And I get a one second penalty. <laughs> ah, it was literally so much pain. So much pain in this qualifying. And I went out again. But look at this. Just watch this. Look how close it was to start another lap. Just look at this. You ready? So here's the finishing line. The yellow strip. And that's where the timer ended. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. So, so annoyed. I'm laughing at it now and I'm smiling. But during it, I was like, you've got to be kidding me anyways so this race let's just try and break it down for you a little bit fuel you do need to save a little bit you, if you push as much as you can you will run out at the end so try to avoid that so i put it all the way to six at the start and at the start because this is a different bop because it's an oval circuit so different balance of power all the cars are a lot stronger so as soon as you get off the, the wheel spin is quite something so you need to make sure that you put the traction control on which is exactly what i didn't do uh, and I believe the rears spun up quite a bit and I started on the hard tyres uh, and you can see just going through the, the first corner they're so cold uh, everyone in front of us basically did the same thing but unfortunately the guy in front of me just did a s slightly worse job um, you know, no offence or anything like that nothing malicious towards him but because he didn't do quite a good job the gap is already over three quarters of a second which is what you need for the slipstream. Alright, so he's in and out of it, in and out of it. I'll admit he's close, he's in and out of it. So I'm going to get the slipstream of him here. You can see the Ferrari behind me. I'm going to get the slipstream now, and I'm going to go to the left-hand side. But if you just keep an eye on the time here, as we go through the first corner here, I am just out of the slipstream. There you are. So it needed, you know, three quarters of a second. It's just over eight temps. But because of that, we was out of the slipstream. This guy's going to drop back here and burst. And honestly, just a nightmare. And I just couldn't do anything. Uh, because I was at the slipstream for the whole race, even with the pit stop, I was nowhere. Absolutely nowhere in this first race that I'm showing you. But by the lap, end of lap 23, this uh, E Monaco uh, Dylan guy, a Frenchman, he serves a penalty. I get the slipstream of him. So finally, and I mean finally, after 20 laps of racing, I actually managed to get the slipstream of someone. Remarkable. I've never gone so long in an oval circuit without actually having anyone to follow. 
So tactic wise, I thought, right, let's just use him to try and push along. So I give him a little bit of a push, and then as soon as we get up to almost a breaking point, I shoot up the left hand side, uh, get past him there. Uh, nice move, nice and easy, nothing too like wow factor, shall we say. But I managed to get the move done. And it's all a case now, do I have enough momentum to try and catch up with the guys ahead? Now you can see P15 there, CGT. He served a penalty. So now I've gone up two positions. So even though I stayed in that position for, I don't know, 20 laps or whatnot, I managed to gain two positions in a lap, which is um, bizarre. So we go around this corner here. Not quite sure what happened, but everyone seems to slow down quite a bit and then Porsche smashed the wall. Um, and yeah, that means I've managed to get in the slipstream, funny enough. So I'm now in the slipstream. Uh, and this is P15, and you're going to see me gain five positions in one lap, right at the end. So just watch this. So I'm on the, on the back here of this uh, group of cars. You can see there's a bit of smoke. Someone's binned it, got a penalty. So that puts me up to P14 now. So there's one. Um, and you probably think to yourself, Holly, there's like two corners. How on earth do you gain enough for three positions? Well, just watch and find out. So you can see there's a big gaggle of cars here. I've got a real good run on a Porsche, which completely... He just seems to duck out of it. I'm not really sure what happened there. So I managed to get a position uh, there. And then I've managed to shoot up the inside of Burst. And then we've got Dealster in front of us. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to gain any more positions here. But someone up ahead had a free second penalty. So I managed to go from P15 down to P10 in a lap. Even though I stayed in, what, P17, P18 for about 20. Uh, which is just... Uh, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, I managed to get myself uh, P10 in the end. But I wanted to go again. Like I said, guys, emotions are all over the place. So we go for our second turn because I need a good amount of points. Finally, in qualifying, I timed this to perfection. And I mean perfection because the distance between myself and the Volkswagen GTI uh, concept thingy, majiggy, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, is about seven tenths in front of me. So I get all the slipstream, and if I catch him up, I'm not going to get too close, and it's not going to ruin my lap time. We managed to go through this first corner. It's a little bit slow, and I got a little bit of a nudge from the Portuguese guy behind me, which worked out an absolute treat. So first sector, 14.6. That's a good, good start. I think my first one was like 14.9 or something. Absolutely nowhere. So immediately you can see there's like a three tenths increase here, and I'm getting closer and closer and closer. 193 miles an hour nailing it through this last corner there's only three corners so you really hope you nail all of them it does make a massive difference and again just constant slipstream and I'm actually going to go across the line in P1 in a split this high this was second top split I couldn't believe it I've never done this well in qualifying and I literally would you know fast forward ahead and I actually finished P1 I couldn't believe it I was so happy, but at the same time, I was so nervous. All right, so we go five laps in. Everything is looking fantastic. But we get a little bit of a nudge here, and unbelievably, I get a one-second penalty. I just couldn't believe it. We were bump drafting the whole way through. Everyone was doing it, and I managed to get a one-second penalty. I was gutted, absolutely gutted. I can't put into words how gutted I was. But yeah, so we managed to skip ahead. I'm just about on the slipstream of the guy's head, so that's good. Right, Agu serves a penalty there, so that puts me up to P6. So all is not lost. I could potentially still get a P1 here. Who knows? But at this point here, I drop out the slipstream going through this corner, get a semi-decent exit, but again, it's just too far, isn't it? It's gone the three quarters, and I get another one second penalty, and I don't even know what for. I think the guy behind me must have tapped me, and I get a one second penalty and I dropped myself back all the way down to P12 and honestly I've never been so so heartbroken in a way in an FIA race I just couldn't believe it I just could not believe it and we crossed the line and we end up finishing P10 and I was just I, I was angry I was upset I was disappointed I was all these kind of emotions I just could not I've just head in hands even now watching this I'm just I'm so upset by it, but I wasn't gonna let it. I wasn't gonna let the video end there. So I was like, right, third time lucky. So we do qualifying once more, and we're gonna cross the line here with a slip. We do a 42.5, so about two attempts slower than our previous effort, but that actually puts us in P3. And let me tell you, that's a good place to be. So. 
finally, finally, can we actually get some luck on our side? Can we actually do this race, get some good amount of points and potentially get ourselves a win or maybe even a podium? I'll take it. I do not care. I finished 10th twice now. I don't want to do it again. I need some decent points here. Um, I, I want, I want like, I want 250. I want some big boy points. So you can see, I put the fuel on six to save some fuel. And as soon as we got in the way, I actually put the traction control on this time, so it didn't get so much wheel spin. And the race is now underway. So let's talk about the race then. So it's 25 laps. You do have to save a little bit of fuel. You have to use the medium tyres, and you have to use the hard tyres. Okay. Now. The optimal strategy is actually to start on the hards and then the second half of the race you go on the mediums. However, it just wasn't working me, working for me for the first two stints or you know efforts that I went into. So I decided to start on the mediums because I just wanted a bit of pace. Because I thought if I drop off of anyone, I can I've got a medium tire so I can you know back it back up and then for the second stint because I've got the hard tires, um, they should have lasted a little bit longer and then near the end maybe I'll be able to push on a little bit more. I just wanted to make sure I stuck. Uh, with the front guys um, for this effort so one lap under my belt still p3 hallelujah um, so <laughs> just grateful that i managed to get through the first lap you can see the difference when we go through the first corner here how much quicker i am compared to the guys in front because they're clearly on the hard tires when i go for that first corner uh, the front end of my car just bites so much easier got so much more um, traction going in it and out of it uh, i can just really just plant the foot and i'm just much much better grip so I'm all over the back of these guys but we've got to think about the long game here okay I just want to avoid a penalty that's all I care about I know if I avoid a penalty I I'll just I'll do well I know I will because the previous two races have, have proven that I can do well if I don't get penalties so you can see we're in a train here and every time there was contact I was just so I was so worried that I was going to get a penalty so so worried so whenever I tried to bump draft someone, you know, just give them a little bit of a boost, I did it so gently. I would let go of the throttle, just touch them ever so slightly, and then just go from there. But this is all going so well until lap six. Okay, so lap six here, I'm behind them. I make a silly mistake. I've hit the wall, and then someone hits the back of me, and then I get a penalty. Oh, yeah. Couldn't believe it. Honestly, at this point... I just think to myself, why am I doing this to myself? Like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? But, come on, it's one second. It's not It's not the end of the world. It's an oval circuit. It, it's dramatic, I know. But, yeah, so at this point, I think to myself, right, before I get to the penalty point, or, the you know, when you've got to slow down, I need to make sure I'm in first place. So I tried to take P2 there. Couldn't quite do it. Got an amazing launch uh, there, and then I just went for a dive up the inside. Now, normally, I would hang out behind them, but... I thought if I'm in first, it's the long, it's, you know, it's the least amount of time. But I'd rather serve it in first than third. Okay, basically is what I'm trying to say. So I serve it, and you can see as I serve it, someone smashes into the back of me as I unghost, and I get a two-second penalty. <sighs> just, I just didn't even know what to say. Didn't even know what to say. Didn't know what to say. But all is not lost okay just stay with me for this video stay with me i promise you it's going to turn out well it will turn out well and it has to i can't have done three attempts just for it to go down you know go down the crapper right surely not i wouldn't have i wouldn't have bothered you know doing this video i would have just said game over there's no point so we shall see so we're going to cross the line now we're going to serve our two second penalty now where's that going to put us it kind of puts us in no man's land okay so there you can see the front six have absolutely left me for dead and there's a train behind me, which is not necessarily a bad thing because I can use the slipstream to, you know, try and catch up or, or whatnot. And we can potentially work as a team. So there's three people that have overtook me now and there's one guy behind me. So I've got a Porsche, a Dodge and an Aston Martin. But I was not, not going to mess about in this race. I've had enough of this absolute BS penalty system. So as soon as I got the opportunity, I shot up the inside on the first corner went from p10 to p9 and then as we skip ahead again lap 11 you're going to see someone serve the penalty so that puts us up now to p8 now these guys are fighting they're getting very close just nudging each other along here now i'm going to join in that train just looking for the opportunity because i want to be right near the front of this train i want to be leading it i know i've got the pace i can do this i can do this right okay 
third corner, nice and smooth, no issues. You can really see the tyre at the back as someone else now goes into the pits. And that will promote me up to P7. But the Aston Martin goes for a move. And I'm just going to bump draft him. And I'm going to follow him along the left-hand side. So that's another position. Up to P6 now. And I don't know if you can see. P3 up ahead does have a penalty. But how big is the penalty? I'm not quite sure. So he's going to serve it here. But it looks quite a large one, doesn't it? Because he's only just finished it. So that puts it up there to P5. P5. We were P10. We were down. and you, We were dead earlier. We had no chance. Now I was thinking about going in. But I just want to stay on the back of this FTR Alex guy because he seems quick. I think he knows what he's doing. So I just stayed on the back of him and then I went into pits on lap 14. Now do remember, I am on the mediums. So for the second half of this race, I might be a bit slow at the start. So you're going to see me through that first corner. I'm going to be struggling. I'm going to need to rely on the slipstream um, to get anywhere in this race, which is exactly why I decided to stay behind Alex. But after we have served uh, our pit stop, we're in P5, guys. P5 couldn't believe it unbelievable so I wouldn't want to say chuffed but at the same time I was disappointed with how this whole these whole set of race has gone but unbelievable I was P10 you know I've, I've had three seconds worth of penalties I think in this race um, and I'm P5 I'm only two positions down from where I qualified so I'm absolutely chuffed over the moon so we start you know lap 17 uh, you've got FTR Alex looking for a move up the inside of the Dodge Viper if you can make it I might just try and follow him but I couldn't I couldn't, and I've got the Hyundai guys just shot up the inside. I've said that quite a few times, and I this <laughs> video shot up the inside. Anyways, he goes up the inside for a nice move uh, up to P5. So now we drop down to P6. Doesn't matter. We're in this slipstream. P3 is definitely still up for grabs. Now I can see an opportunity here. I try and go up the inside. Just about. There's a car's whip there. Only. Just. Just about. And I managed to sneak my car. Uh, in that gap and we move ourselves up to P5. Got to be wary now, you can see the Hyundai driver just on the outside, just give him enough space. It starts to get a bit of argy-bargy but look at the fighting here. So good, this is what I almost loved about oval racing. There's so much close racing, it's unbelievable. There's a massive sandwich here. I literally four or three abreast, ridiculous, going into this first corner. I dropped down to P7 momentarily, now I don't know why. But the guy in the Hyundai got himself a one second power. He's clearly not happy with FTR Alex there. I don't know what that is. I've looked back at it and I still don't know. Uh, maybe someone in the comments can um, let me know. But yeah, he was just not very happy with that at all. So he's going to serve his one second penalty on the next lap. That potentially promotes up to another position. You see P4 Johnny here goes extremely wide. And the guy in the Hyundai knocks him off. And I just manage to avoid the Viper, I really don't know. I've had to slow it down, because in real time, mate, <laughs> still to this day, I don't know how I didn't hit him. It's only until I put it in slow motion, I just managed to see how I avoided him, but crazy, so, so close. And I honestly thought that was that was my race over, but thankfully, it was not. Okay, so the Hyundai driver is gonna serve his penalty now. That puts us back up to P5, and it looks like it's gonna be a three-way fight for P3. Now I managed to jump myself up to P4 and you can see at the start of lap 24 I just decided to go for it. This is it. This is my chance. I need that position on track and I'm going to take it. So I shoot up the inside. <laughs> I've said it again. Uh, that's literally, I'm going to have to put that on a t-shirt or something. It's ridiculous the amount of times I've said that. Um, yeah, so up the inside. Onto P3 now. So we now have to hold them off. But have I done it too early? Have I? Should I have pounced on lap 25 instead of lap 24? We'll soon find out. I'm just absolutely amazed I'm in this position. We've got a train of cars now. So if something goes wrong, we can potentially drop back to P7 here. Going through this last corner really late on the brakes. And it just causes me to shoot right in front of them. And I managed to just keep the position. And I'm going to go uh, all the way to the left-hand side here. Now, I'm not going to do all this kind of really dramatic swerving and all that kind of stuff. Because I don't like that. I don't think that's... that's not very sportsman-like, I don't think. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the guy just manages to get the inside of that corner. I always say inside because it's an oval track. So, any move, really, is going to be around the inside. It's not really going to be around the outside. But he managed to get position. Now, I try and go for a move there. But he just reacts just quickly or just enough. that I just nudge him ever so slightly. And I feel like that was a massive opportunity missed. But there's, like, there's one corner left now. One corner. I've got the hard tyres. I cannot hang it around the outside. I'm going side by side with the Brit here in the Dodge Viber. But thankfully, the Aston Martin goes to the right-hand side. And we are going to get the slipstream. I'm going to cross the line in P4. And I am just ecstatic. Now, that is the best P4 I have ever gotten. 
And I mean that because of the penalties and how much effort I put into making this video and doing these races. Just chuffed, absolutely chuffed. And that gave me 257 points and put your boy in P2 in the manufacturers and I'm very, very happy. And I hope you guys are as well. So please let me know if you did enjoy that. If you did, please leave a like, smash the, <laughs> smash the subscribe button and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.